Hi guys, today we will uh, do the traffic light programming using PLC and HMI. So this is the traffic junction. There are three junctions are there east, west and north. So I made the steps in the sequential manner like here. As you can see here first east green would be gone. At that time the north and west will be red. So I will uh, explain from here. The, if we look here the diagram. First the green will be gone for 15 seconds. Then uh, it will after 15, 15 seconds this yellow will be start blinking for 5 seconds. And after this the red will be gone. And once it then uh, this is this step. Then after the red reaches then the west west green will be gone. So west it is the green. Here the same procedure after 15 seconds yellow will be gone for 5 seconds. Then later it will be red. So the next once it reaches red, the north green will be gone, and it will be on for 15 seconds. Then uh, uh, yellow five, yellow will be gone for five seconds, and later it will be red, and this loop will be circulating. So we will see how we can make using this uh, logic using this PLC and HMI. So first of all, we will add the controller. We will be using S7100 controller, and here if you click controllers S7100, and here we will use. Uh, 7 DC DC relay so I'm using this PLC and uh, we'll add now okay now the PLC is added now we will add the HMI and from here HMI will be using the semantic control panel uh, comfort panel and I will be using TP7 comfort and I will add this So the previous video I shown I link through here. So we will link through the uh, through device and networks. So here in the device and networks. So we need to go to this uh, device and networks here. And we need to click on connections and uh, it will be HMI connections and we need to drag from here to here. So it make a link between this uh, PLC and HMI right now. So next we will start programming our PLC that 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 can be seen from the here in the in the connections here in the HMI once we look here in the connections you can see here this PLC and HMI see this HMI connection is yes, all 100 and this PLC and everything will be displayed here if it is a, it is a successful connection it will be shown here. So next we will start programming our PLC. So we will open our uh, uh, PLC, then program blocks, then main OB. So first of all we will uh, follow this step first. Step 1, first east green should be uh, on for uh, 15 seconds. Then, uh, then at that time this uh, north red and west red should be on that also for the same time. So we will do the same first. So it is now open. So we will open our tag table. So I will make it floating. So we will make this uh, start and stop button. So first of all, we'll make the start button here. So okay, here we have to change this to memory bit. So after we'll drag from here. So we'll use our flip flop. Here it will be started. And here we will add the stop bit. So our uh, start start section is finished. Now we will use this bit for the continuous process. So next, what we have to do is that first uh, this green should be on for 15 seconds. 
so we can make this using uh, a pulse timer so we will use start me dimensional step one so here so we move the output here first One. Step one is to green, yes, red and not red. So we will add the timer right now. So we will use pulse timer. So we will name that as step 1. So it will be 20 seconds. And here it will be uh, 15. Then we will add some branches here. Okay, once the uh, VT started, then what will happen? Then uh, pulse timer will be started. So we will get the this will be on for 15 seconds. Okay, so similarly these two also will be on for 15 seconds. So before that, if we are counting the step, we need to add one uh, counter actually to identify which step it is. So we will add one counter in between that. So we will add one counter. We will use up counter. So here this is this counter. This will be three steps will be there. And uh, here this initial will be zero. Okay, fine. So how it will be? It should be how to add here. So the first step it should be so we have to use the comparator block here to identify which step it is so we will use this here counter step count value equal to 0 if it is step 0 then it will be goes to this step ok so as you can understand this initially it will be 0 because uh, initial it will be 0 then at the time it will be uh, this this rung this will be uh, active and as per that as it is active this uh, this timer will be started it will be as you can see that initially the this counter step will be zero and at that time this step one this uh, pulse timer will be active because it is, is uh, initially be zero and here it, it gets satisfied and it will be on for this much of time that is 20 seconds the so 20 seconds it will be on but uh, we have a requirement here the green should be on only for 15 seconds and uh, yellow need to be on for five seconds so what we have to do here so here we have to use one more one more comparator here. One add one comparator here. So if it should be on, that means this uh, step one timer, this step one.
is the edit time okay. it should be less than 15 so once the timer is started it will be 0 and at that time it will be less than 15 seconds so until 15 seconds it will be on so in the so this will be on for 15 seconds and this will be on for the complete 20 seconds so one more thing we have to add is that out of this 20 15 seconds will be on the next step is yellow the yellow also we will add in the step one okay the yellow need to be on for five seconds in this step one okay so for that we have to add one more run here step one dot um, so here we will add one more run here and we will make an output this will be step one still no ok so first step one is green will be on for 15 seconds then it will need this yellow need to on for 5 seconds so what we have to do is that so we will add the same block here So we will add this completer block here and it should be step 1 of ET should be So we have to add one more uh, run here. Second dot ET. So it should be step one dot et should be greater than 15 seconds and it should be less than 20 seconds it should be less than so till time this one will be also on so hope you understand this logic so this is a step one so we'll similarly we will do the step two and step three so we will make this copy first This will be step 2. So here it will be counted. So here we have to increment the counter actually. For that we have to increase the counter. So we have to put this uh, when it need to be. This step 1 time when it uh, finishes the step 1 timer at that time we have to increment it. So we will use one negative edge trigger. should be negative as to ok so what to trigger it is uh, step 1 dot this timer need, need to ok when the timer finish at that time it need to be start counting so we will write here step 1 finished so we will count here step 1 alright fine so I hope you got the idea so next we will make the copy here then it will be count 1 and here it will be step 2 it will be step 2 alright 
so here it will be step 2 to okay step 2 dot et and uh, here what are things going to be change so here so in the step 2 west green should be on step 2 west green so we have to add here step 2 underscore west underscore green so here we will change to step 2 west green should be on and step 2 west green should be on step 2 then east step 2 red east east red and step 2 north red okay so step 2 east underscore red and step 2 underscore north underscore red so step 2 here step 2 here step 2 east red step 2 north red so in step 2 west green should be on step 2 north red and step 2 east red north red and east red right so in step 2 the screen should be on east red and north red should be on all right fine so next we have to go to this step so here it should be step 2 2 dot at and here it will be step 2 dot at then here hello which element to bring actually so here in the step 2 then west yellow need to blink okay step two west yellow we have to add okay step two underscore so here we have to add all right fine so this is finished step two is finished now so we have to add this one also here we have to make here and see ok and right equal to the step 2 dot q we have to add it here step 2 so here we mark all right fine so we have to bring here also so next we have to go to step 3 step 3 will copy this right for control So here it will be under 2. Okay. So this step will be changing to step 3. Step 3. Alright, fine. This step. Step 2. Okay. Then here. Step 3. And here it will be. Okay, in step 3, what is this? North green. So, north green should be on. West red and east will be off. Okay. So, step 3 underscore north underscore green. So, here north green should be on. Step 3 north green it should be on then step 3 east red should be on step 3 west red should be on so 
the tree east red should be on and west should be on all right fine so here step three east red should be on then step three Here we change to step. The rest of it should be on. Okay, here it should okay. Then here, then step three, north yellow also need to be on the next step. Step three, north yellow. Step three underscore north underscore yellow. Alright, fine. So I think this step three, step three. This is three. Okay. So this is we have done. So here we have to reset our timer. So for that we have to then we have to reset it actually. Here is step 3 finish. We have to reset this. Okay. So we have done this now. So next we have to give the links actually. So we have to give the output. So we will write one. Uh, is e elevated okay this channel is going to be in this channel is called then So east, north, and west. So we have to make the ranks now. So we will add for east, east first. We have to make this here output. So here, so this green, this red, this yellow, all right, fine. Then this, then rest. Here the north one. So 
we need to connect it here the first east green where all east green will come east green will come on step one okay So step two is to come, step three also is to come, okay. Eastward and step three is to go. On that one. So West Green. West West Green on step two. Eastward on. Next is west, west, west. Okay. Next is north green. Where north green will come on step three. Then north red down. North red. Step one. North red. Okay. Step three. All right. Our logic is finished now. So next we have to make the HMI programming. So for that Okay. So we need more pellets now. So here. White, we have to make this here nice.
So next we have to add and two switches here. So here we will copy this also. Okay, a lot. Fine. So next we will need the tag connections now. Okay. Let's do it now. We are just leaving the tags now and let's do it. This is not actually, it's not the green, and here it is not yellow, it is not red, and here it is East Green. And then here it is East Yellow. Here it is East Red. Okay, let's finish now. Then here we have Start and Stop Push button. Start and Stop. And then let's set with this one. Pressing here, set this chart bit by releasing it will reset this bit. Start this. Okay, fine. So we will come back now. So 
problems. This is not the only way to program this uh, traffic light. There will be many other options, many ways. I, and the output only the important thing you can do in any options. Okay, you can do using time other timers. And as this is as the depends upon the programmer actually. And start simulation now. My PC is a bit slow. Skip this. So we will download now. So next we will start simulate uh, start a simulation or HMI. So our system is starting now. We will see if we check the result now. We will start. Okay. East within is on. The north and west red is on. So next it will be yellow will be on. And then after that red will be on. The time west is on. All right. So this then after that west yellow will be on. Alright, then west red will be on, then north green will be on. See, okay, now green is on. Then after that, north yellow and north red, then east green. Okay. Alright, the step is continuing now. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and you got some idea on this uh, sequential programming. Thanks for watching with me and if you have any doubts or doubts just give me the comments and I will try to answer if I am aware about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video and you got some idea on this sequential programming. And uh, if you have some doubts, please write on the comment box. I will try to answer my best. Thanks for watching.